Hi all, Lee Veris here with another Photo Tech Tuesday. Each week I'm bringing you another video exploring photo techniques, equipment, software, creativity, and more. And uh, today is going to be really fun. I haven't done a tutorial on this for a while now. So, so today we're going to make photo mandalas. And this is kind of a simple trick with Photoshop layers that uh, leads down a very long rabbit hole. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, roll up our sleeves and dig in. So um, I have a collection of images here uh, in Lightroom. And, and uh, you know, I've, I've been doing these photo mandalas for so long now that I, I kind of have an idea of what will turn into a good photo mandala just by looking at the subject. So um, perhaps the easiest way to get started with this is to find a, a, a photograph that you can crop into a square like this one here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and edit this in Photoshop here. I always open it as a smart object. So let's uh, let's dig in here. Here it is. And um, I, the, the reason I open it as a smart object is just so that Lightroom doesn't save, save a copy right away. So it's going to wait and see what you do with it. Um, but I'll go ahead and flatten it. And then the first step is we're going to duplicate the layer. So I'll just do Command or Control J, and that jumps the background layer into a new layer at the top. And um, then the next step is um, I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and we're going to flip this horizontally. Okay, so now this layer is in the kind of the opposite, it's going in the opposite direction from the button background layer. And this whole process involves layer blend mode. So first we're going to find a layer blend mode other than normal that interacts with the underlying image. So you can, you know, you can choose darken, uh, multiply, color, all of these things interact with the underlying layers. Um, I'm going to select lighten here. So lighten is just saying, okay, take the, any pixel in this layer that is lighter than the pixel directly underneath it and substitute that one. So we're already starting to create this kind of uh, symmetry here. And we want to continue to build up uh, perfect symmetry. So the next step is to hold down the Option or the Alt key on your keyboard and select from the Layer Options flyaway here, select Merge Visible. And I have to keep that Option or Alt key held down. And when you do that, when you select Merge Visible, you will get a new layer that is the exact same as the, the layers underneath it. It's putting the result of the two layers into one layer at the top. <clears throat> and then we're going to transform it again. I'll go Edit, Transform. And this time we're going to flip it vertical. So now, again, it's sort of oriented in the opposite direction. Uh, let's, let's play around with, uh, we'll use darken since that just came up first. So here now, we're substituting darker pixels. And so you can see it's darkening out that whole top light area. Uh, but it's building an interesting symmetry in here. And uh, we're going to continue. Again, holding down the Option or Alt key and selecting Merge Visible. We'll create another copy at the top. And this time, when we go to Transform it, we'll go Edit, Transform, and we'll rotate it 90 degrees. All right, so now we're going to, again, change the Blend Mode to get it to interact with the underlying layers. And we'll, let's see, Darken. Uh, let's try Lighten. I actually like lighten in this case. Uh, and the, the nature of the mandala really changes when you, depending on the blend modes that you use. So uh, we're going to stick with this one for now. Um, we're pretty done. I would usually, when you get to this point, it's often a good idea just to uh, do your normal kind of brightness contrast adjustment. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a curve on there. We'll brighten it up just a little bit and then add some contrast in this sort of center area of the mountain range here. So I just steepen the curve there and there you go. Now we have a finished mandala. 
Now, what's interesting is it, even if you change one of the blend modes, so if we went from light and on this top layer to darken, well, now we have a completely new mandala, and I can just change, um, I'll change my um, curve to increase the brightness there. And now I've got a whole new mandala without actually even changing my layer structure. Let's take a look at another image because uh, in this case, we cropped it to get a square, but there's all kinds of different ways you can get a square image. And I'm going to start with this one, which is a horizontal. And uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Edit in. We'll open it as a smart object. And there you are. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to flatten the image and we'll start by doing the same thing. We'll duplicate this background layer. So command or control J. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to canvas this out to make a square. Uh, or in this case, I'm going to create symmetry in this by flipping it and we'll, we'll increase the canvas size um, and we'll do it by percentage so that we're going to increase the height 200%. Now, the other thing that I want to make sure is in this anchor, I'm going to anchor that top. So now we're going to increase the canvas to, to the bottom of the image. And uh, we'll make the, it, it doesn't really matter what the background is. So we're going to say, okay, now we've got this canvas that is now a vertical. We started off with a horizontal. Let's take that top layer and we're just going to flip it. So again, transform, flip vertical. So now it's the opposite. I'm going to get that move tool here and we'll just drag this down until it fills up the whole frame. Okay, so now we've created some symmetry, but it's not a square. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this again. And I'm going to change the image size to get us into a square. So we're looking at this um, dialog here. And uh, so my, my original size, uh, which is width is 4,032, height is 6,048, I'm going to uncheck this little link, which is uh, maintaining the aspect ratio when we scale. So I'm going to uncheck that. So now I can change width and height independent of each other. And we'll make it, we'll force everything to be square. So I'll go 4032 to force it into a square. And of course, now it's disappeared. Here it is. There's the square. And now I can proceed the way I did before, but I've already got started here with some symmetry. So let's uh, jump this command or control J. We'll do our little transform here to uh, flip it horizontal this time. And um, let's zoom that in here so we can see it a little bit bigger. Let's change our blend mode. Let's try lighten or darken. Actually, I like the darken better. Again, hold down the Option or Alt and we'll merge the visible to get another layer at the top. And this one, again, we'll come here to Edit, Transform, and we'll rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And let's see what happens. We'll do darken. That's a whole different <laughs> mandala right there. Let's try lighten. All right, very cool. So we have another mandala. Let's um, let's go back to Lightroom and pick a, another subject. I'll show you a, a different way of getting into a square. Um, let's do let's do this one. This uh, we'll open that up. And uh, we're going to do sort of a, a similar thing, I'll flatten it, jump that layer. Now, this time, I'm just going to canvas it um, into a square right away. Instead of doing the whole flip thing here, I'm just going to go right to image, uh, canvas size, 
and we'll force it to be um, we'll force it to be square widthwise, right? So our width now is 51.52 and the height 77.28. Uh, Let's go ahead and make it completely square just by typing in uh, the same pixel values. And we'll anchor it to the right side so the canvas expands to the left. And I'm going to make the um, I'll make the background. Well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it white. Here we go. All right. So now that top layer, uh, I can flip it. So we'll go edit transform. This time we're going to flip horizontal. And now I'll just get the move tool and I'll just move this apart. And now let's play around with our blend modes here. Uh, let's do darken. Well, that's kind of interesting. Lighten. No, we can't do lighten because we had a, a white canvas. So we have to do darken or we can change the canvas. Um, let's stick with the darken because I'm, I'm loving this, this kind of shape that it's creating. Here we go again. Hold down the option. Uh, option Alt. Merge visible. And we'll go to our edit transform. And we'll flip it vertical. And now let's see. Well, let's see what we can do. We can do darken, right? We can do lighten. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, there's also all of these other blend modes. Sometimes difference is kind of cool. It, it will give you some strange colorations. Uh, or exclusion, or subtract, or divide. Let's let's try difference. And so we're picking up some blue color here because difference kind of inverts some 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 of the tones in the image. All right, let's um, hold down our Option Alt. We'll duplicate or merge the visible. Create another layer in the top. And you guessed it, we're going to go down here to transform and rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now, at this point, if we, um, let's say if we did difference again, what is it going to look like? It's, a, it's, it's still differencing on top of itself and is generating, you know, kind of an interesting um, mandala effect. But if we use overlay, that's a completely different kind of look to it. Um, lighten. Again, perfectly uh, acceptable. We can just play around with all of these to create new uh, mandalas. So even if we pick this one, it doesn't look that interesting right now. But again, if I put a curve on top of it and we really brighten it up, well, now it's starting to get interesting again. Um, so, OK, well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm sure you can find a lot of images you can use this technique on. Remember, there are a lot of layer blend modes to explore when you're assembling these mandalas, and, and it, you can just go on and on and on uh, generating new mandalas. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss another Phototech Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. But uh, a little bonus here, stick around for a short three-minute AI video that extrapolates from several of my photo mandalas. All right, let's take a look.